Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is currently feeling about you, what would they say to you, where is this connection headed, and more. Um, I also wanna let you know there will be an extended reading up for this reading on Patreon where I'm gonna go ahead and pick initials as well as more love oracle cards, and I will give you exclusive manifestation advice on how to get this person, keep this person, see some movement and progress in this relationship. So the link to that will be in my Patreon, and the Patreon will be in the description box below. You guys, I have so much manifestation advice on my Patreon, even from like previous readings, previous piles. That can be applied to anyone, okay? I know like, you know, with like certain piles, there's like a very specific cor corresponding message, okay? But the thing with the advice on Patreon is that you can click any video and you will see manifestation advice that will be applicable to you at any point because that's advice you manifested if you really think about that okay and of course you know initials they're just a cherry on the top if you don't see your initials or your persons that doesn't mean you can't take that as your message okay just take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't okay um, but anyways without further ado i'm going to go ahead and get started with introducing the piles here we have pile one with the clear crystal quartz here we have pile two with the emerald and here we have pile three with the star or star quartz or star crystal i have no idea what i'm going to write in the description box below but it is a star um so yeah go ahead and take a second to meditate upon the piles and pick one that you are the most attracted to the most energetically attracted to this could be um based on the crystals the properties the colors the angel numbers and the timestamps if there are any it is up to you but do go ahead and pick based on your intuition once you've done that head over to the timestamps below and we will see you in your respective reading Hi, Pal One. Welcome to your reading. You all picked the Clear Crystal Quartz. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this connection headed? And more. I do want to let you know there will be an extended reading up on Patreon where I will be giving you exclusive manifestation advice on how to manifest this person, keep them, um, you know, have everything go the way that you want it to go, see some movement, see some progress in your manifestation. So that will be on my Patreon. The link to that will be in the description box below. So you can definitely sign up for that there. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and shuffle the cards to see what's going on here. Pisces, okay, really interesting. Someone could have Pisces placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I am seeing that for a lot of you. This is someone who, um, this is someone who you fantasize about a lot and they think about you a, a lot as well. Okay, they daydream about you. Like they could be at work and they will literally just like, you know, look you up on social media, see what you're doing, see what you're up to. Like this person thinks about you a lot. They, they seriously like 12th house energy here i'm seeing like you can literally feel this person's energy and i don't feel like you've been able to do that with anyone and everyone or i mean maybe you do do that a lot like I, for some certain people you're just like wow like you know uh, you you've been you could think about someone and they end up showing up in your reality you know there's certain people that we just feel a stronger connection to i'm seeing there's a strong connection between the both of you they can also feel your energy and i'm not even seeing that for a lot of you this person is necessarily that spiritual so it's a it's really different for them it's almost like they're you know you met them maybe some of you guys like hugged or something you know like the power of touch it's like you're transferring energy and it's like their energy is connected to you because of that, okay? Quantum entanglement right here. Um, we also got Neptune dreams. Wow, okay, Pisces is actually literally associated with dreams. This is so interesting. And I'm filming this during Pisces season, okay? Last, last Zodiac season here, okay? I feel like there's a new beginning coming in spring for a lot of you. This is a timeless reading. So from whenever you're watching this, um, if you're watching this like in the first half of the year, I'm seeing, you know, March, April is going to be a really, really big time for this connection. Okay. I feel like this person's coming in fast and, you know, things are going to do a, there's a huge shift happening right now. Okay. Um, a lot of these water sign seasons, I tend to see them as like transitional seasons. Like, you know, there's just a lot going on behind the scenes. And then usually there's a fire season that follows, right? Like after Pisces is Aries, after Cancer is Leo. And that's when things move. That's when the action happens. Okay. So I really feel like in the next, um, I'm seeing like next fire sign season, there's a lot of movement that's going to be happening here. Perhaps even Earth, whichever one's closer to you, because Earth is about things materializing, okay? And air actually has to do with communication as well. But I'm especially seeing that like, you know, in the next fire sign season, perhaps the next Earth season for some of you, you know, wherever you are in the year, that's when this is going to be happening, okay? But let's say you're we're in Virgo season right now, then Scorpio season. Uh, Scorpio is a water sign season. Um, Okay, if you're, if you're in Virgo right now, either something could be happening during Virgo season or what's after that, Scorpio, then Sagittarius, no, 
wait, what's after Virgo? Libra. Yeah, Libra. Maybe something could be happening during Libra season because that has to do with communication. I, I'm complicating things. Why am I talking so much about timelines? But my point is like, there's a lot of movement happening behind the scenes. This person has been thinking about you like crazy. You have been showing up in their dreams. I don't know if you guys looked up tutorials on how to show up in people's dreams, but I, I feel like you just have the power to do that <laughs> like without even trying, okay? I feel like this person already thinks about you a lot. You show up in their subconscious mind, okay? So that's also like, you know, how dreams really work. Um, I feel like this person... Like, you know, they, they fantasize about you. I, I said that twice here. This, this literally says fantasies. I feel like just thinking about you, some sort of like escape for them. Like they think about you and like they feel good after that. Like, you know, I mean that in a good way. Like, oh, you know, just thinking about my future with this person, like that, that motivates me. That motivates me uh, to get through my job or whatever is going on. Like, trust me, like this person like daydreams about you a lot. Like not even just like dreaming about you at night, but like daydreaming, you know, like when their conscious mind is awake, like this person can't forget you like you're literally unforgettable we got jupiter really interesting um jupiter's expansion okay i'm seeing that um there's a lot of movement that's going to be happening in this connection and it's going to be happening kind of all at once so get prepared get ready for this person to kind of just come forward out of nowhere i feel like you know 12th house that has to do with like the house of the unknown the unseen you know things you can't see with like your visible eye but you know maybe if you have exercised your crown chakra or activated your third eye chakra enough um, maybe you can feel that energy but with jupiter i'm seeing like things are going to be materializing in real life okay i feel like you have you know with this expansion like you've opened them up to new ideas new opportunities you've really opened up their mind in a lot of different ways i'm seeing they're really enthusiastic about you they're really enthusiastic about this connection i'm seeing exploration they either want to travel to you or with you um maybe some of you obviously this is not going to apply to everyone you could be from different cultures religions um faiths or something like that or maybe you're just really spiritual and they're not that spiritual there, there's some sort of like difference between the both of you okay but i feel like this person in general has a very really positive view of this connection maybe for some of you you're just like oh we got into a really nasty fight or there's just a lot that happened believe it or not this person does think mostly of the positives and i feel like that's most people in your life i know maybe some of you can like you know think of someone that hurt you and like you tend to get really down but believe it or not that person like there's no one out there that hates you there's no one out there that like you know like can't see like you know your good qualities a lot of you are so radiant you, you shine so bright you have really really amazing qualities to you and you know your person especially sees that it's almost like they've been blinded like that even if you know by that believe it or not like even if you had like certain qualities that maybe you don't like like they don't see that as flaws you know i feel like they really really put you on a pedestal and they really like romanticize you a lot okay i'm seeing romanticizing i feel like you even romanticize them a lot you romanticize this connection a lot but they're doing the same things they're doing the same things i feel like someone or maybe the both of you really like seeing life through rose colored lenses or rose colored glasses okay so yeah let's go ahead and pick some more cards to see what's going on in this connection here page of pentacles and then we also got the ace of swords okay getting some earth sign energy virgo capricorn air sign energy aquarius libra scorpio i am seeing that this person wants to communicate with you this person wants to come forward this person you know this ace of swords is clarifying the page of pentacles so i'm seeing with this page of pentacles there's a message that they want to give you pages are the messengers of the deck like i mentioned Pentacles have to do with stability, like they want things to stabilize, you know, and they want to take things, I don't really want to say slow, but like this page of pentacles is about like, you know, doing everything right in a relationship or like kind of like following like the ideal timeline. That's really what they want with you, okay? Like going from like talking to dating to dating to official to official to this, you know, whatever works for you. Honestly, you can even dictate that, okay? I'll talk more about that in the extended reading on Patreon where I'll tell you, you know, like how to manifest this person, yeah, um, if you're interested, but I, I feel like it's happening anyways. You guys are already doing the work and you're doing better than you think you are ace of swords communication both these cards mean communication pages are the messengers of the deck aces are also um this is about like a new beginning and swords are like the communication card okay so i feel like this, there's a lot this person really wants to get off their chest there's a lot that this person wants to tell you i feel like it's you know they really want to catch up with you they, they want to know what's been going on in your life okay like they want to talk to you one and one yeah let's go ahead and pick some more cards to see what's going on yeah we got nine of wands definitely some sagittarius energy coming in here sun moon rising venus nine of wands yeah, i feel like the both of you have been in some sort of stalemate like you're not talking they're not talking you don't want to reach out to them maybe some of you already reached out to them or you're just like no i don't want to reach out to people they have to reach out to me like you know i want them to do that more okay like and yeah let's go and see what else is going on ace of cups i really have a good feeling they're going to 
might be reaching out to you because the feelings are here the feelings are there they're even strong they're like overflowing this person has more feelings than they let on i really really do feel like they have kind of a nonchalant attitude or demeanor maybe they, they don't like act like the most romantic people but that doesn't mean they're not like there's no one that doesn't like you know like being romantic or anything like that right so yeah um Let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards. Seven of Wands. So this is about the right timing, okay? Like, this person wants to make sure that they're coming back in a way where, like, the both of you are going to work out, where it's going to be victorious, okay? So that's, that's just something that I'm seeing is, you know, like, they're being a little bit strategic about it, even. I do feel like this person is, like, pretty smart. I feel like they could be in, like, a pretty, um, like, you know, a field that's conventionally like that's considered to be like conventionally smart like oh oh if, you know if you're a doctor you're smart engineer like i mean everyone's smart okay everyone is i do believe everyone has like you know um wisdom intelligence you know yeah but i, I feel like this person definitely you know could be really busy they are, they are really busy i feel like they even have like a really good social life and um they have a lot that they want to do and accomplish out of life and sometimes things can be a little bit tough and hectic for them but they never for, they have not forgotten about you i mean they like you they want to be with you they're very very you know they, there's something very attractive about your energy to them I don't, I don't know what it is you guys do i don't know if you guys do like glamour magic or um glamour magic definitely look that up it's so interesting it's literally just telling yourself um you know like while getting ready or you know glamming up like how beautiful you are how attractive handsome you are like just saying nice things to yourself while getting ready correct me if i'm wrong but i've been hearing that a lot in tiktok and just honestly hyping yourself up you know as you look in the mirror like that that helps so much okay? i don't know what you guys have been doing what you've been affirming but it is working okay um let's go ahead and pick some love oracle cards to see what other messages we have here um when you touch me i feel butterflies in my stomach this is so sweet i really 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 love this yeah this person definitely does um get a little bit nervous around you but in a good way like you know it's it's just like you know when you really have feelings for someone and like you know you're around them you can like feel that in your heart like you're a little bit nervous maybe you even like mess up a little bit like you know when you talk yeah um we also got sometimes when i'm busy i pause to think of you it's like a breath of fresh air yeah they think about you a lot a lot a lot more than you know okay ace, ace of swords energy yeah um okay i'm gonna go ahead and end your reading right here i do want to let you know that i offer in-depth tarot readings as well as max and coaching and also custom make subliminals so if you're interested in any of these services check out the description box below where you can sign up for them and yeah i will end your reading right here thank you so much love and light Hi, pal too. Welcome to your reading. You all picked this beautiful emerald. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is feeling about you. What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And more. Let's go ahead and pick some oracle cards to see what the general energy here is, okay? We got Pluto transformation, maybe some Scorpio placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. There's a lot that's been going on behind the scenes. Oh my gosh. This person has been going through like a major internal transformation, which they kind of like needed, okay? Like you're just like, you know... You do like them, you have feelings for them. Of course, they have a lot of like redeeming qualities, but um, you're just like, this person needs to heal a little bit. And I feel like those exact things that maybe you didn't really like, not even necessarily about them, but like what they were bringing to the connection that maybe wasn't serving it is finally leaving, okay? And it's like a volcano just erupted. Like, look at this eruption. And it's like, it's been building up, okay? I feel like this person like needed to, you know, release for a while, but like maybe they just kept it in. But I feel like they're finally doing that. And there's a major transformation that's been happening that's going to impact this connection in a really positive way okay i'm even seeing that for a lot of you maybe you feel like this connection just kind of blew up out of nowhere like or not out of nowhere maybe something was building up in this connection and there was a little bit of a tower moment this this card always reminds me of a tower moment yeah um or they could be going through a tower moment right now but i'm seeing that this is this literally says evolution you know evolving into something better um rebirth okay like better cycles, better patterns coming in, like completely breaking out old patterns. Um, I feel like, you, you know how when you turn 25, maybe some of you have heard of this, like your prefrontal cortex develops. I feel like their brain is just like different now, okay? Like the, the energy, um, you know, the vibes are just gonna be so much different, but in a really positive way. And I feel like the worst is over. Like it's not gonna get any worse than this. It's literally gonna be better from here on out. Um, what did I say? What did I freaking say? I swear to God, I did not see the sun come up, okay? Um, sun, okay, this is about better and brighter days ahead, okay? Better and brighter days ahead. You guys, sorry, I talk so fast sometimes. Like, I am so hyped to do this reading. Like, I feel so energized. I literally came back from a long day of, like, you know, hanging out with friends. I think I was out for, like, four or five hours in New York City, a lot of walking. But 
something about your energy is energizing you are so captivating you're so magnetic i mean this person loves love loves being around you okay like i feel like you have a lot of self-awareness you know you're patient you're understanding you understand other people you know you can like sense energy read energy uh you know you never want to offend anyone like you're really really good at talking to people getting to know people a lot of people consider you to be a really great conversationalist like especially this person it's just like who you are you're charismatic kind warm okay um this is gonna sound cheesy, but like you're the light of their life. Like you literally add light to their life. Like you are the embodiment of light. Like you know how I always say like love and light or that phrase love and light. Like you quite literally are the human embodiment of love and light. You're so positive. You're so kind. You're caring. You care. You you genuinely care about people. You have good vibes. You know you're just someone that like thrives. You're like you're amazing. You always you're, you're resilient. You come out stronger in the end. Your person's also really attracted to your strength. It's like nothing can break you. You know. Um, a lot of you maybe you, you gotta give yourselves more credit for the people that you are like you're just glowing you're you're amazing in every way this person has so much to like compliment you for okay com compliment you about i feel like this person talks really really well about you to other people like you're extremely admired so many people like just love your energy um there's so many people that love you that are rooting for you this person has a lot of love for you 100 percent. okay let's go ahead and see what else is going on what the oh my god i i'm freaking out like literally right as i pick these cards i say like you know the what's on the card like even right before i pick the sun i said something to do with like you know better and brighter days ahead or yeah I, I forgot what i said you guys i'm just too hyped up okay um love there's a lot of love in this connection your person does love you okay i'm seeing libra taurus uh scorpio leo energy sun moon rising venus someone could have those placements in their chart beauty harmony romance a lot of you are very 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 attractive maybe you know you care about beauty skincare um really take care of yourselves i feel like this person wants to like pamper you or like spoil you even or they really like that you do that maybe for a lot of you like if you're feminine they really like that about you or if you're rational, like whatever you associate with um whatever you're like you're proud of like they really really like that about you like it, it shines like you know how you you know it, it just it shows like if someone's like really passionate about something and like, you know, they talk about it, like other people like that. They're just like, wow, this person's like so passionate about it. Like, even if it's not something that like they, um, they are passionate about themselves or it's not something that, you know, they necessarily do, like they, they can appreciate that in you. Like there's, a, there's a lot of qualities that this person appreciates about you. Okay. A lot of you are really diplomatic. Like you care about harmony, balance. You don't want to cause problems. And I feel like, you know, certain things, you know, you could have called them out on certain things or like, you know, in the past, like, you know, you know how to hold your ground. Like, you know, you care about like setting boundaries for yourself. And that's a good thing that that's all that is boundary setting. And you're really good at that. And, you know, a lot of people love that about you. Like you just, exude um you know good vibes okay and this also says like sensuality a lot of you definitely could be sensual just in the way you present themselves luxury wealth okay beauty luxury wealth that's going to be around you i feel like that's what you embody i'm like literally getting empress vibes as well okay um let me go ahead and pick some tarot cards to see what other messages we have here um five of swords really interesting wow this is a really different card than all the cards we've been getting we got the knight of cups i have been getting the knight of cups so much okay i've been using like three or four different decks throughout the day and i've been getting that in like pretty much every deck five of swords i feel like there's a little bit of negative self talk that goes on here either with you or them maybe you know we, we all get anxious at times okay um i feel like this person definitely does want to make you a love offer but with this five of swords they're kind of scared they're just like okay, what if they don't like me like um maybe something happened between the both of you where they're just like they're not sure if they can even come back like is it too late like can i even fix this that's literally what they're thinking right now okay but i'm seeing they still want to make you an offer like the ball is still in their court technically and you've been waiting for them to contact you to hit you up okay and i'm seeing it's happening a lot sooner than you know it's happening a lot sooner than you think so um yeah l l let's see actually i, I want to go and pick some clarifying cards to see if they're gonna what they're what this five of swords really means like what is going on oh my freaking god you're not gonna believe this the lovers this could be a twin flame connection no wonder the energy is so intense i'm feeling that here okay um yeah i feel like this twin flame dynamic you know sometimes it's not easy some people do have smooth twin flame connections okay i know people have different like perceptions of twin flames okay it's, it's very subjective actually yeah that, that's what i've noticed but i i feel like they're gonna be coming back i feel like whatever the problem was like it's not you know the love here is so strong we literally got venus here it's gonna prevail it's gonna like you know be better than whatever the problems are yeah we also got the queen of pentacles so this is about balance stability this is about um you know like this is about 
going for this. This is about investing in this connection. This is about like, um, just, you know, how do I say this? There's, there's something very specific that I was going to say. Hopefully it'll come, it'll come back around, but you know, they want to be with you and they know that they're going to be a good addition in your life when they're going to enhance your life, when they're just going to like, you know, be like, just like I said, you know, just a good influence in your life. Cause a lot of you are really good influences on like so many people, right? Like a lot of people see you as, you know, just someone who's really positive, um, influential in a really like good way. I feel like this person, ha you know, wants to make you an offer, an offer of stability. They also want to take care of you. They also want to pamper you. They also want to spoil you, okay? Two of Wands, yeah, this person has been thinking about contacting you. They have been thinking about their future, and they've been thinking about how they want to incorporate you in their future, okay? So Five of Wands, I mean, this means nothing, okay? I feel this Five of Wands tower moment. This could be something that you're going through right now. But like I said, there's better and brighter days ahead. Seven of Pentacles, this person wants to work on this connection with you. They want to invest in you, okay? And let me go over the signs before I forget. I'm getting Virgo energy, Gemini energy. Energy, Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, a lot of earth energy. Um, yeah, okay. So what is this card? Hmm. Knight of Cups. Yeah, can Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy as well. Three of Pentacles, they could be really busy with work, you know, their finances. That's something that is really, really important to them and that that is currently something I'm seeing they're working on. Wheel of Fortune, but this is going to work out in your favor. Okay, this is going to be working out, period. Um, Wheel of Fortune means like luck is on your side. You're finally going to be lucky in love. At times, maybe you didn't feel that way. Um, and also, that that's an affirmation you can use. I'm always lucky in love. Okay, here's a preview of what I'm going to tell you in the extended reading. Check out the Patreon where I give you exclusive manifestation advice on how to get this person, how to keep them, how to see some movement and progress in this relationship. Here's a preview. Here's a spoiler. I am lucky in love. Just say that and see what happens. Thanks. Thank me later. Come back like a month from now and just tell me what happened, okay? Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and pick some love oracle cards to see what other messages your person has for you. We got your body is a piece of art and your soul a piece of heaven. This is poetic. I love this. I love this. I've been seeing a lot of like poetry from Mahmoud Darvish. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but I, I see a bunch of his quotes. And um, yeah, even like... I'm, I'm going to mess up their names. So I'm just not going to say it. But this is so poetic. Your body is a piece of art and your soul a piece of heaven. I mean, yeah, they're very attracted to you. But, you know, they're attracted to what's on the inside as well. Um, this is so sweet. Um, yeah, we also got, I feel like I've known you all my life, yet you are so mysterious. I feel like if there's anyone that can pull off both, it is you. It is you. And they are loving it. They're living for it. Um, yeah, they're crazy about you. I mean, seriously, they are enamored. Like, they're just like... I was not expecting to meet someone like this. I was not expecting to feel this way. And maybe it took a little bit of time for the both of you to like really, really, you know, get get to this point of feelings. Maybe for, I'm saying for one of you, it wasn't necessarily like love at first sight, but it was more of like, for lack of a better word, acquired taste. But it's like, you know, once you like really like someone, it, it's, you like them forever. And like the slow, slow burning type of love is actually like the best and the most long lasting. But that's just what I'm seeing kind of happen. There definitely was an attraction from the beginning, but it's like your feelings just grew deeper. Their feelings just grew deeper. Okay. Like the both of you really, really like each other and enjoy each other's company. So yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading right here. Like I said, check out the Patreon. I'm also going to go ahead and pick initials as, as well as more love oracle cards on the Patreon. Okay. Um, I also want to let you know that I offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you can sign up for them. And yeah, I will go ahead and end the reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light. Hi, Pal3. Welcome to your reading. You all picked this beautiful star crystal here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is currently feeling about you. What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And more. I'm going to start off by picking cards from the Numinous deck to see what the general energy here is. Ooh, we got the square card to start off your reading. Let's go ahead and pick some more cards. Semi-sextile. That's really interesting. Square and semi-sextile. Okay, so I feel like, you know, right now, maybe you feel like you're at some sort of roadblock. Like This just isn't manifesting. This it's not working. They just have not been, you know, like contacting you, communicating with you in the way you want them to. And you're sort of losing hope. I'm seeing you're losing a little bit of hope and you still like this person, but you've kind of like withdrawn a little bit, but you still want them back. And you know, like, you know, if they were to come back, you know, like, yeah, like I said, you'd still want them. Okay. Here's what I'm seeing. I feel like for a lot of you, there's a lot going on behind the scenes in this person's life, they're going through a lot of challenges. I feel like they're playing it off really well, like, oh, you know, it's not even that bad. Or maybe maybe they are being vocal about that. But 
it's not an easy time for them. I'm really seeing like, you know, this is something that they really have to face head on. And right now they're kind of even distancing themselves from other people. And don't be fooled by the 3D. Maybe you're just like, wait, no, they're not because I see them hanging out with friends, this and that. Um, yeah, no, there, there's something deeper going on here, okay? And I feel like right now, this is their priority, whatever this like thing is going on. I'm seeing something to do with family problems or even like work problems or social life problems. Like I, I feel like there's someone around them that's a little bit toxic that is, you know, causing a lot of problems in their life. And it's like right now, it's a good thing that maybe they're not in your life because they don't want to bombard you with these problems. They don't want you to think they're problematic. I feel like they want you to think that you are really, that, you know, they have it all. They have it together. They have their life together. Because for a lot of you, you do. And you act like that people love that, you know, you do. Or like, that that's the demeanor you give off to a lot of people. So that's just what I'm seeing here, okay? I, I feel like there's more going on. And it's really not personal. I know sometimes we take things personal. They're not texting us like this and that. Um, they must hate us. You know, our mind jumps to conclusion. That's not the case at all, Okay. Um, let's go and pick some more cards. Yeah, like I said, unknown. Oh my gosh, 12th house literally has to do with the unknown things that you don't see yet. I feel like if you've been feeling a little bit anxious, that's their energy as well. Maybe so sometimes things are going well and you start feeling a little bit anxious or maybe you affirm for them. Maybe you're trying to manifest and you feel a little bit anxious. You That is their energy. When you try to manifest someone, you're kind of connecting to their energy in a way. That's just, that's just one assumption. You know, you don't have to like um, assume that if you don't want to. And speaking of that, um, in the Patreon, you check that out in my patreon i will go ahead and post an extended reading for you where i will give you exclusive manifestation advice on how to manifest this person as well as pick initials and pick more love oracle cards but definitely do check that out because i feel like for a lot of you there's some affirmations that you can be using to manifest this connection see some movement expedite things okay and um whatever these challenges are the things unknown you know the squares it, you, that circumstance will be completely eliminated okay here here's a spoiler affirmation circumstances do not matter i'm sure you've heard that a lot just say no they don't matter whatever challenge they're going through like they can go through that and still be with me or it doesn't exist anymore they don't have emotional baggage they never had emotional baggage there's your answer right there i'll give more you know exclusive manifestation advice like that in the extended reading okay we also got the semi-sex tile allowing so there is potential in this connection there is potential in this connection to really go somewhere um rewards rewards i love this you know you're going to be reaping the rewards of your manifestations all the work that you've been doing on yourself i feel like a lot of you um you know you do some sort of inner work you probably have engaged in shadow work i feel like whatever you're doing to better yourself your relationships are going to be better as a result of that okay like i said there's a lot of potential in this connection okay there, there there's something big that's going to be happening in this connection for the best like i mean i'm seeing a lot of movement and progress and maybe there's a lot happening behind the scenes that um you know is is really really good that you may not see just yet like think of when you apply for a job right um you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes like you just gave the interview right like you just took the interview um and you know like the interviews interviewer the hr whoever is like talking to the managers of like you know the potential team that you're going to be on there's a lot going on behind the scenes and you don't really know until you get that job offer, right? So that, that's exactly what's going on. Like, you know, your name is being spoken indoors. You haven't even entered. That's kind of like the same thing. Your person is talking about you. Your person has been getting thoughts and signs from the universe to reach out to you, okay? I feel like maybe you've been showing up in their dreams. 12th house is definitely like a very dreamy um, fantasy type of card. They have been fantasizing about you. They have been dreaming about you, okay? Yeah. Let's go ahead and pick some love oracle cards to see what else is going on. And I'm going to go ahead and pick tarot cards. Yeah, pile of three. You, you're you very different than the other piles, okay? I'm like completely like shifting the order of this. Yeah, we got there's only you in my mind and in my heart. Yeah, so do not be worried about anyone else or anything. At this point, I'm seeing the only person your person truly wants is you. So you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to third parties, okay? Like I feel like, and again, anything that was a circumstance, anything that was blocking this connection from happening is eventually leaving like even though they could be going through all of this someone that they consistently think about is you they cannot stop thinking about you seriously um i'm so proud of everything you do yeah your person really admires you a lot and they want to be on your level they want to make sure that you know they're adding to your life that they're a good addition to your life like they really don't want to be someone that holds you down that brings you down okay i don't know if you guys watch Ginny and georgia but um basically georgia you know the mom like tells Ginny's boyfriend um 
oh, I forgot his name, but like, don't bring her down. And like, you know, he's like, but no spoilers, but yeah, it just reminds me of that scene. And like, it's even in that show, her boyfriend, whatever his name was, oh, I can't believe I forgot. Um, he still loves her throughout. It's not like he ever lost feelings for her. And the show, they even show like, you know, different perspectives, like what he was feeling and seeing what she was feeling and seeing. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that they are, you know, your, your person is also going through that. It's not like they don't have feelings for you. It's not like they don't care. They're just going through it. Okay. Like that, that show was a little bit dark, you know, the person like Jenny's boyfriend was going through a lot at the time. So that's just the kind of general energy I'm seeing here. Okay. But yeah, let's go ahead and pick some tarot cards. Uh, we got two of pentacles. Yeah. They have a lot of responsibilities on their plate. I feel like, you know, there's a lot going on in their career life that they need to tend to. Okay. Like they're, they're trying to build foundations for their future right now. I feel like, you know, when it comes to certain fields, it's like you have to work really hard to, you know, achieve something like, you know, if you're in the medical field, um, you have to like, go to school for a while and like you know same with like law like you know you work really hard to become partner um tech like you know work really hard to become senior software engineer right like there, there there's a lot that's going on right now we also got the ace of wands yeah so i feel like this person is going to be coming forward they are going to be like you know contacting you regardless there's no reason why they can't be with you and also do what they're doing i know people in med school that have been with their boyfriends girlfriends for like years on end okay so i feel like they're finally going to find a way to balance that out i love this the world is about taking that next big step in your connection, seeing major movement, seeing major progress, okay? Um, this person is coming back. I feel like there's a lot of energy that's been clearing out for this connection to really happen the way that you want it to happen, okay? So this is really positive. I'm also seeing this person is really fixated on you, fixated on this connection, fixated on your energy, okay? Like a lot of fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, okay? Someone could have these signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well, okay? Um, big things are happening in a good way. Oh my gosh, more earth sign placements, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person wants there to be a strong foundation, strong foundation in this connection. So I'm seeing when they're coming back, they kind of want to start off on a clean slate, okay? What I'm also seeing is that like, they want to be so solid with you that if anything gets in the way, like you won't break up. It's not going to happen. Like you will, you know, be together no matter what. It would hurt like if they came back and you broke up, like that would actually break their heart. And they want to make sure that, like, you know, right now they could be going through a lot, you know, when it comes to their career, whatever's going on, like they want to be so solid in that, you know, they want to really deal with that first and then come to you. And, you know, they just want to make sure that you'll be able to get through like literally anything and everything. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, they are a little bit stressed out. I do feel like they have sleepless nights. They have, you know, a lot of anxiety in their life. And right now, like I'm even seeing that maybe they're even neglecting their friends or family. Okay. Or maybe like they'll be hanging out with their friends or family. They'll like be on their phone the entire time like you know working on work I'm seeing a little bit of workaholic vibes I mean this person really wants the bank okay they want the coin here yeah um let's go pick a, ah, pick a couple more cards I love this we got the four wands this and what a good way to end the reading here this is about better and brighter days ahead this is about things really working out I'm seeing a lot of Aries energy um Sun Moon Rising Venus Leo energy this literally means Venus in Aries someone could have that I'm also seeing Aquarius Libra energy with you know the nine of swords but I'm seeing that things will eventually work out your happy ending is coming okay i feel like you make them feel so safe and secure every time i see this little child on this horse it's like you know their inner child feels so safe and secure around you um yeah you know with this four of wands four four is a number of stability especially when it comes to love and relationships so yeah i'm seeing that you know this person like wants to be around you like they want stability with you like they want more they want more with you they want more in this connection and they're coming back better than ever i know it's been a, a tough journey a lot of ups and downs you know as the cards show but in the end it will eventually work out Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Like I said, you can check out the Patreon for exclusive manifestation advice. I also offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you can sign up for them. And yeah, I will go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you so much. Love and light.